It's your boy Darnell, Big Husky Robot, doing it live all the way big. We right here to Yes We Will Project. It was the bomb. It was the absolute bomb. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, two reasons. Number one, they brought the kids out. Um, it was about the kids and the young adults coming out and helping out in the community. Number two, the people who put it on really have a passion to help people out. The founder, yes. Mr. Vetter Sherwood, 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 I'm trying to say it right, I'm bad with that. You got that. it. She really made us get together. I, I only heard her voice the first time I heard her. All I heard was her voice. She was like, can you get Big Husky? Can you get in the light? Can you come on the stage? Mm -hmm. That's how I heard her. But um, she came down, and then when I saw her, I put the face with the body. I was like, that don't mean that. She, she was all, <laughs> man, she came out all petite. But um, she showed us love, and she asked us to be here. Um, and so we did, we, we got on stage, but we also did the interview. So today's interview is with her. Yes. Let's talk her. about this project and why you decided to start the Yes We Will project. Oh, let's keep it short. I missed a whole long story. I started the Yes We Will project because I was still high. I was high off of Ohio. I was helping with the campaign in Cleveland. And um, like I said, I found out that if we would have lost the campaign in Cleveland, we would have lost the entire election. So I hurried over to Cleveland and knocked on people's doors, 70-year-old people, people who had never voted before, mm -hmm. Republican people. I cried. I cried for an old couple and begged them to please get in the van with me, and I drove them to the polls. They were my last people and the last day that, that there was to vote at 7.30 p.m., and they voted for the first time ever. Wow. First they told me they were cooking dinner, and they were definitely not coming out tonight. All right. So, All right. you know, it's just really important that, that I got people to come out and vote. It was a very emotional experience. Okay. And I kept remembering that Barack Obama kept saying, America, I will change America, except I need your help. Mm -hmm. And I kept wondering, well, what, what am I supposed to do? One person making a big difference? Mm -hmm. How can I make that change? He said, yes, we can. He won. They said, yes, we did. And I just said, you know what? Yes, we will. Let's do it. Let's be the change. Except the, be the change, dot, dot, dot right now not just one day not just helping mm -hmm. the old lady across the street next week this is about being a major part of the major changes that need to happen in this country right now and that's what we're fighting for it's 23 cities cross country on a bus 12 people traveling on a, on a tour bus and uh um, pit my ride found out what we was doing you want me on the bus, the bus one day. 12 12 pit my ride found out about what we were doing and asked us could they pimp our bus so that's they why pimped we, the bus they got a pimped out bus they got the bus <laughs> the bus is on 50. <laughs> It ain't even on 24s, it's on 50s. So what we're doing now is we're traveling by plane while Pimp My Ride works on our bus. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, the yeah. overall concept and everything that was um, conveyed tonight to everybody, how, how do you think um, Harrisburg is going to change from the Yes We Will project? I think Harrisburg will make... Um, I think Harrisburg, the people who are ready and committed, will make major changes. Mm -hmm. In every city that I've been to, in every community that I've, I've visited, there are people there who want change, but they're not ready to make a difference. They're not ready to take the stand, mm -hmm. or they just don't know how. And I think Harrisburg was receptive to me. I think I was at a middle school yesterday, and it was yelling all kinds of profanity stuff at me. Did I was, you use profanity? Mm, and they were talking to me crazy. And I was talking to them a little crazy, too. Did you go and back? We, did you Did you get ghetto on? Did no, I didn't get ghetto. Oh, God, I remember. I remember. Because every now and then I get ghetto on. You mean, I did I take it back to 1998? Right, because that's mm -hmm. what I do every now and then. I, I had to take it ghetto I didn't take it back to 98. I, I tell a kid, but I, I did was you I had to the steps. You, you got to call them out. When kids act like that, you right. got to call them out. And you got to figure, because it comes from somewhere else. It comes from deeper than that. So that's what I did. I called them out, brought them up on a stage with me. They was on mute. Wow. And then, it, and then it, and it makes people respect you. And I told them, I said, I respect you. Will you respect me? And they all told me yes. So they respected me and I respected them. But what I noticed was there's a lot of issues within in the, within these communities and with the young people. It's, it, it comes from somewhere, from somewhere deep down, and things that are going on in their households. So one of the things I, I, I like to talk about with the kids is how what we can do to make changes right now. When I was talking to the kids at the middle school yesterday, one of the girls yelled out, what's the matter with you? We just keeping it 100. Can you spell one of them? That's the question. <laughs> But Most what I thought, can't spell it. What I thought when I heard that was mm -hmm. she is keeping it 100. Oh. They are they are yelling at me the things that they know. Right. This is the most that they know, and this is all they had to offer, and they're wow. yelling it out. So if I say, yes, we yell, yell at me, yes, we will, and that's not something they know how to do, that's not interesting to them. Right. So I made it interested in them. We flipped the script, got some names and numbers, and we keep it in touch. I got my first email from one of those crazy kids yesterday. Wow. So I'm really excited, and that's the reason for doing the project. That's what the reason is for your show and shows right. like it. That's why I want to support it, Thank be you. a part of it. Thank I want to see the kids put on a production being on for the kids, by the kids. Um, 
kind of like FUBU. Right. For us, by, by us. us. Right. You're right. You're right. So, so FUBU, you can help us out since we <laughs> gave you a shout out. Right. We need all kinds of sponsorships and everything to get this stuff on, on, the, on, the, on the go. And what's the show called? Life Chronicles with Big Husky. Life Chronicles with Big Husky. I support it. They support it. You support it. We know it's going down. It has to happen right now. Yeah. You're getting your interviews in. Let's yeah. go into editing. Let's get the show on the road. You know, the funny thing is, yesterday we got a death threat. Oh, right. That's why we had all that security with us. Right. That's why they kept following me. I know because everybody's like, why you get security? Who are you? Yeah. And they like that. We got a death threat. Um, and they told us, do right. not do the show or they was going to kill me. This show? Well, the TV show. Mm -hmm. okay. But it was so close to this show, we wanted to make sure. We wanted to keep it, you know, 100, as they right. say. You know, right. and keep make sure everybody's protected. But, but that just let me know mm -hmm. that. This needs to come out. Absolutely. We need to do this show because when you start getting death threats, Absolutely. that means you done made somebody mad. You're doing means, something right. Yeah. So That's we, what it means. You're making people understand that absolutely. whatever you're about to do is about to make a change. Right. And you, you're creating a situation where somebody who's not ready for that change right. is, thre is, is threatening your Threatened, life. Yeah, so. And that's all right. But it's, it's okay. Right. Because the Bible says, yea, though I walk through that's the right. valley of the shadow right. of death. So I'm cool. And there's a will for all of us. There's a will for all of us. And you're here for a reason. Your team is here for a reason. They support you. They stand. Mm -hmm. I, I like my team to stand next to me. You know what right, I mean? Not right. just behind me. I feel like you have a team that stands next to you. Yep. So I, I, I always say 365 days, I like to give people a year. But let's hold ourselves accountable. Right, and let's right. make the Chronicles with Big Husky. Is that right? Like Chronicles with Big Husky. Like Chronicles with Big Husky. Yeah, let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking. I like saying cracking now for 2009. Already. So we're getting it cracking for yeah. 2009. That's my name. 2010, we're going to get it in. Okay. Let's get it in for 2010. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I thank really you. appreciate it. It was a pleasure. Um, Y'all heard it here first. Check her out. Tell them the website so they know oh, where to the go. Yes we will, www.theyeswewillproject.org. Call 818 232 3185. How we reach you? 717 557 4799. You can check us out. Um, you can check us out the YouTube page, um, and that's forward slash. The Life Chronicles with BH and all of that is capital letters. You can also check us out. Uh, we got MySpace, YouTube. We on every. You on Facebook? Facebook. We on where? Add a friend, change your status, all that. Change all your status right. and let them know that you're fighting for a cause because we are freedom fighters. Yes, freedom I'm fighters. With you. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. And that's all there is need to yes, be we said. Will. We out. Yeah. Yes, we will. Peace.